Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to zip and compress files on Windows 10. Now this method is pretty similar to other versions of Windows. However, I thought I would do a tutorial to reflect the update to the Windows operating system. And just in case anybody didn't know beforehand, it's a nice little feature to know about. You don't need any third-party software in order to do this. It's all built right within the Windows operating system. So I've created a few files directly on the desktop here. These will be the three files that I want to compress into a zip file. There are a couple different methods I want to show here. And the first one will just be the simple three files on the desktop method. <laughs> uh, basically, I'm going to try and compress all these files. So holding down the control key, I'm going to select the files that I want. So I want to select file 1, file 2, and file 3. Keep in mind while I'm left clicking on these files, I'm also holding down the control key. So once all three files are selected, I'm going to right click on any one of the files. Then I'm going to left click on this send to option. And then there'll be an option, the first one actually, will say compressed in parentheses zipped folder. You want to left click on that. There we go. So now we have a zip file. So if I open it up here using WinRAR, I see that all the files have been converted and put into our compressed folder. So another example here, we can use the ribbon menu to compress files. So let's say we have our documents folder. So I'm going to open up File Explorer actually right now. And I'm going to navigate over to our documents. I have all these files in here. And let's just say there's certain files that I want to compress, and I don't want to compress all of them, but I most certainly do not want to do them all individually. So what I will do is, again, I'm going to hold down the control key to the ones that I specifically want to compress. If you only want to compress one file, do not hold down the control key. I'm just showing how to do multiple files. So I'm, while I'm holding down the control key, I'm going to select a few of these random files. Up at the top here, there's four tabs. You want to left click on the share tab and then there's a little folder with a zipper on it and it says zip. So what I'm going to do is left click on zip. This will again create a compressed file. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to just name it compressed files for example here. And then if I open it up, I see the specific ones that I selected have been compressed. And just for those who want to do a single file. Um, like I already mentioned before, but I'll just visually do this for anybody. Um, you can just left click on the file, go up to share, zip it, and then if you open it up, you see you only have one file. And with the first method we did, again, if I just right click on the one file, then I left click on send to, I can send it to a compressed zip folder. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to do a compressed file here. And if we open it up, uh, we see we have the one file. So this method is pretty simple to use. Um, I hope I did not make this review confusing by showing multiple methods and different scenarios. I just want everyone to have a full understanding of what I'm doing here. And if you want to do one file, you want to do multiple files, or if you just have certain files you want to do with in a whole list, any one of those possibilities you're more than welcome to do with either one of the methods I showed in this video, either using the ribbon bar that we were going through the file explorer with up in the share tab, or using the desktop right click, send to, and compressed folder method. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.